And what we're going to do today is going to be kind of the Christmas special because I've got a few things, a few fingers in the pies and everything. We're going to see what's on the other side of this. And what's that one to wear for this? And what's on the other side of that? Plus other bits as well. Let's go to the down view. So, let's start off with a rarity. Now, what started me off in watchmaking, like, you know, or watch collecting and that, was a very old Seconda Safari. And this came up in my feeds for £3.50. And there you go. Look at that. Now this, I'm no, I'm, I didn't even realise it at the time. If you look, there's two crowns. And if you look at the six o'clock part, when it gets around to focusing, there's a red arrow. So at first I thought this was a GMT, but in fact, it's an alarm. This is a Myota 67, no, 6L71 alarm movement. It's very, very uncommon. Now, a lot of my other Safari, the, the Luma, this isn't so hot because it's got very small blue dots. But as you can see, all right, I can get it to. But, I mean, a hands light, you know, I, it's completely different to my other Safari, which is on the sister bracelet. I made this um, cuff band myself. I hand rifted every one of them, like, you know. And if you can see there, I fitted a compass. Actually fitted in. There you go. Yeah. For three pound fifty, this was like you know, in the sake of one battery, which I've got up bloody tons of. Right, it was a bit of a no-brainer because you can't go wrong with a Seconda in my book. That's why we have two tonight. There you go. Look at that. Don't that look the business? So. I think that was like, you know, the best £3.50 I ever spent. And the alarm does work. It's a bit finicky. What you have to do, if you want the alarm to sound, you pull that crown out and it turns it on. But it's not very loud. It's, it's just kind of like, I was sitting there, I was watching uh, my mate Vince's um, video. I was thinking, I can hear an alarm going off. Or, you know, and um, I, I thought, what the hell is it? And then I, I went to scratch my ear and I heard it and it was like it was like chiming away to itself so I, I pressed the button in and uh, it stopped and it was driving me out the wall saying what bloody hell's going on so there you go Seconda Safari 6L71 alarm I've never seen one with an alarm on it so that is absolutely cool, cool. and for the I mean you know like I stuck a new battery in it and bosh it just starts straight up you know result and i do love it on this i don't know why the safari suit this straps quite well uh, you know there you go right let's go on to the next one oh as the title suggests like two seconders right went into the bar to meet ben nevis right here is number two Look at that. Now this is a very rare textured dial. If you look, it's like carbon filed crisscross, a cross hatch. It is gorgeous. It's also on its original unique um, shouldered expander bracelet. 
look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely gorgeous. I have got to do a bit of um, stuff on, on the crystal because there's a couple of like kind of like smudges on it. All right, it's day day. I haven't set the day on it because it's tedious. Like you know, I mean, I'm just it, it is a little bit magnetized. It is running just a touch fast. I need to carry on demagnetizing it. All right. It's a Slava 2428 movement inside, which means it's got two main springs, not one but two. This is a Soviet watch, it's, it's towards the end of the Soviet era, so I have no idea what day it is, but like, you know, let's have a have a look at that. It's very easy to put on. There we go, look at that, don't that look the business, that is a really, really nice looking watch. And I'll pay silly money for this, I, you know, absolutely silly money. I don't know, it, it just, everything works on it. You know? Now what I would like to do is try and find a watch box for this, because I think this one needs to be looked after. Uh, you know, this, this is like, you know, it's 28 jewels, made in USSR. Day day, 80 mil bracelet, um, 8 mil lug bracelet. Uh, and because it's got that unique um, slava twin mainspring in there, like, and also it's um, what's it? It's also got a, a massively jeweled cannon pinion shaft as well. It's just like what a really long, like a um, cylinder of ruby. That's what makes this so delightful. But unfortunately, slavers do have a bit of reputation of being a bit problematic. So, we shall see to the next one. So, this next one is an AliExpress special. It's called a Ben Nevis. Now, if you remember, I've got a Seiko Tuna that was also called Ben Nevis. As you can see, it's on a very, very thick leather kind of like bonded strap. That is a metal buckle. Uh, it's very thin, but I actually I'm quite glad. I did actually put a spanner end on that first to see if it'd look any better, but actually it hurt my wrist where it was digging in. It's very hard leather, as Chinese usually is. Now, if you look, it's a very curious watch. That there is. A chro well, it's, it's not a chronograph, it's a timer. See this top button, it activates, now you won't see it at first, but that left dial, left sub dial will start working like, and what it does is it times up to an hour. But not in seconds, in minutes. As you can see there's a slight bit of movement on it, like you know, it gets fun to focus in. It's done in a way of those um, those square Bell and Ross sort of uh, cases, uh, you know, it's supposed to represent like avionic meet, um, dials and instruments and stuff like that. This bloody phone gets around to focusing, like, you know. Uh, it's bloody good time. It's got a date complication, which I haven't set up yet, like, you know, uh, you know. As you can see, like the minute timers, so then you can just stop it, and you'll see it just slowly wind itself back again. Now, isn't that unusual? I have never seen one with a minute timer like that. I mean, but you think about it, there's so many things that you could use it for, things like timing an egg, like, you know, or you want to time something, like, you know, you want to just, like time a 20 minute drying thing on a coat of paint. Like, you know, I mean, it has its uses, it's just so unusual. Instead of a, a, a seconds chronograph, it's a minute's timer. Uh, let's put it on. This Now, this is quite hard on the old wrist, because it's very, very thick leather. Uh, there we go. And there we go, look at that. That's a 45 millimeter case. Um, so, you know, 43 millimeter case. I believe that's a 24 lug. Although the strap, as you can see, is fitted, it means it's wider. Like you know, once it leaves the lug. Right. 
you can see what I was saying about the size of the when I put the spanner end on it like you know it was absolutely digging hard into the base of my hand so it's got keepers it's kind of a suede new bucker feel of like you know but I mean, you know, it's, it's quite a pleasant looking watch I mean this cost I think 12 pounds of the Valley Express like you know I mean this I mean you know if you got this like I mean, obviously, it didn't come in a box or anything, but if you got this for Christmas sort of thing, if you was a dad and your kiddies bought you this for Christmas, you wouldn't be unhappy, you know? I mean, it's not a Rolex, it's not a bright thing or whatever else, but, look, you know, you wouldn't be unhappy if somebody bought you this watch. And that's, that's what a lot of it's all about. So, there we go. Right, now we're going to have a quick cover on something else. Now, as you know, I got this up and running beautifully. I it's absolutely, well, I say it's up and running beautifully, but it seems to have stopped. Like it's unusual. Wonder what's happened there. I will have to investigate that. I suspect that's the battery that's gone on it. Right. Um, it does work brilliantly. Like you know. Um, it's unusual the battery's gone. I reached out to Seiko, right, and they found me a sample watch of this, which is basically this kind of case head with the bracelet in it, for the bracelet for this. So, yeah, it's really unusual. I don't know. Well, there's enough power to run power the chronograph, but there's not enough power to power the rest of it. Yeah, because the sec perpetual seconds aren't working. Well, I mean, I've been using this, like, you know, I've been, like, I've had it propped up on the case cushion, like, you know, and it's been telling me, uh, I've just noticed it's not working anymore. So, but that is most likely the battery is absolutely at the end of its like, you know, it's got enough like, you know, to power the um, chronograph, but it's not got enough power to power the main main works. So you know, it doesn't matter because I've got a what I've got a what um, a seventy nine two movement that would fit this straight away. So that's not a problem if it's is the movement that is going. Well, I mean, you know, this is this has never been really worn. I mean, it's got no wear on it whatsoever. It's absolutely spotless. You know, I can't see why it would actually not work. Uh, anyway, well, I've got the bracelet for this, so like, you know, like, and this will be, you know, fixed up. That's really weird why that's stopped. Right. But that's the thing. When you get these watches from someone, they may be working, but you know doesn't mean they're going to stay working because usually what's happened is, is they've already stopped before and then they've like you know and then like they started up again and there's people are saying oh yeah better get rid of it it's breaking down it's not it's the battery that's going so you know so there you go so that one will live again and that's going to be you know absolutely look at that it's absolutely it's never it's not even got a scratch in the glass all the gems are there you know this is a very nice looking piece so this one will live to get, live again and it, another gratuitous look at that and of course these two here and we'll take it to the up view okay well what do we have on the thing tonight freshly arrived today another seconda this is a pole jock 18 mil this is one of the two of the new bracelets I bought because this one the bracelet I turned up on was smashed up a bit it has got a cracked crystal but as you can see there's cracked there and there's a bit of a crack there but that's not a problem because I've got a new one winging its way from Russia as we speak it's already in the post Keeping absolutely brilliant time. Yeah, just checking it. Yeah, that's 56, 56. Nice point. I haven't set the day in it. Has got a day complication. Standard ring back. And I think for what it is, 
old 1980s Soviet seconder pole jar. I don't have a lot of uh, square watches. I quite like that. Oh, I think that bracelet is just right. I've got another one spare for something else. So, what do you think of that? So, well, I won't hit the pause because I don't know if I've done this yet. Because I thought like, this is kind of like two or three videos. Here's that Seconda Safari. This is modern Seconda. As you can see, this is the one with the alarm on it. Two crowns, which is so unusual for Seconda Quartz. As, as I've mentioned that, I've actually got another one in a little baggie there. Now, unfortunately, the crystal's knackered on that as well, but I'm not sure if the case is in better condition or not. We shall see. But this one's got a better bracelet on it. It's a very, very fine, like, um, mesh bracelet. Uh, I quite like that. I think that, that what's it, the silver bar look? It just looks really good. So that's where it will stay. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we come up to the pride of the. Now, uh, I don't know if you remember, I showed everybody this. Pulsar, which is working perfectly. Look at that. This is his bracelet. Now, what happened was, was I said to Seiko, I said to Seiko, I said, hey, look, I've been told by this e base that's right, get us a part number, we'll have a look to see if we've got bracelet for you. Because they, they, they buy stock in huge amounts among old jewelers and all sorts, right? So, I, I, I said that to Seiko. Seiko comes back to me and says, well, yeah, we can give you the part number, but as it happens, we've got one of these bracelets in stock. And how lucky was that? £12.50, including his delivery. It was next day delivery. It's flawless. Absolutely flawless. This watch is flawless. There's not a scratch, blemish, mark or anything on it. It's like brand new. So this owes me to £12.50 plus a few quid for the head and the battery. So I've got myself a, a proper a genuine Swarovski Crystal Pulsar YM92X098 for well under £20. It's got a signed clasp. Hasn't got a signed crown, I'm afraid. But if you look, if you watch, the top dial is is split. It's got a high hand chronograph seconds when it gets found to light. It has got a um, split second as well, and that resets it. Bish bash bosh, date complication. The left hand register is your perpetual seconds, and the bottom is um, basically it's the hours, minutes, and hours counter for the chronograph, which means that it can record up to 12 hours. Right, so you know, it's a very comprehensive for what it is. I mean, it, it looks very blingy, doesn't it? But for what it is, it's a very, very comprehensive Seiko powered chronograph. There you go. Oh, I love that business thing. So, we'll take it all up to the up view. And like, I don't know if you can see over there, but I've got a big pile of watches. I'm trying to sort them into my boxes. Like, you know, I've got a bit too many. Right, we shall see. Oh, wait a minute. No, there is still more. There is still more. 
I forgot to mention this from AliExpress. For the, under the sale, a set of three pushers in various sizes. I think that cost a couple of quid. Free delivery. And a set of, uh, that's a super fine and a fine oiler for doing the lube on these hands because I've also got a little box now full of loom stuff so it's all been happening so this is kind of the Christmas special folks like you know because I probably won't be putting many at much up between now and the new year uh, Sean's coming down next week uh, from Scotland and well, I'm hoping she's going to miss London because it looks like London's gone to shit. Uh, you know, and apparently there was a big punch up between protesters and um, the police today outside Parliament. Big old kick off. Or, you know, I mean, people are getting pissed off. Gritter was just shot to bring that into some context. Look at that. That is such an impressive piece. I didn't think I'd like it. My intention was to actually. You know, like find a box for it and sell it. Like probably get about 50, 60 quid for it, no chance so. on. But I thought myself, oh, I actually quite like that, you know. It's very dressy, very blingy. I mean, I wouldn't wear it to go working on the car or something, but like, you know. So, and, you know, a double thumbs up to Seiko for coming out like that. Like, you know, saying, oh yeah, we got one for you. And like, you know, would you like it? Right. Let's put this one on and put it into contact so you can get an idea of what it's like on the bracelet. Yeah, look at that. Don't that look a business. Yeah. Now I've noticed, right, that when I put some videos up about secondas, all the secondas that I've been bidding on or keeping an eye on or some of the pieces I've been looking at and I've been saying, yeah, I'm looking at this sort of thing. People have been going to bloody buying them. Stop it. Well, you know. Um, oh. oh, I'm trying to think what else I was going to say there. Yeah, you know, Christmas, like, you know. Uh, I bought um, a Muscle Foods hamper from Muscle Foods, but right, it's going to come with big lump beef, big lump pork, ham, right, and a big whole crown. It's called a butterfly crown or something, like right, you know, boneless hunk of turkey, right? Plus loads of chicken and comes with all the veg, all the stuffing, and, you know, and all the all the, you know, it comes with everything, taters. Like, what's it like a big big bag of potatoes so you can have plenty of roasts it comes with like two huge rump steaks for boxing day There's something called a leftover burger which is like um, a big square so it's, it's, it's a bit like um made out of stuffing but it's got bits of turkey in it it's got a bit of roast tater in it a bit of greens in it like you know it's all like laid out into a like it's kind of like stuffing tray sort of thing Right, you know, so Boxing Day's going to be pretty good, like, you know, the cats are going to go, oh my god, like, you know, because they never lose that, because they get tons of leftovers every year, you know, so, um, hopefully today was the very last day I had to go to walking into town, because I could tell you this, that my tendons on the front of my back hamstrings are shot to hell, and I'm really struggling with it. I, mean, I got to the point where I like, you know, when I got in today with the back, I had to go up and get some things for um, the, the young one, Verity, because like, she's been poorly. We've had um, three three cats ill with the, the coughs and the sneezes, and Verity was really struck hard with it. And um, she wouldn't be eating anything, so I, I walked up to Asda to go and get a pack of six of these like, gravy tins that she does seem to like, you know. And I, I tell you, I got into the front door and I had to come up the whole way on my hands and knees I could hardly walk my tenders had just given up on it you know and every step where any weight on my legs was just absolute pure agony uh, you know so that is a worry that is uh, you know doctor's given me um the new minty TNG uh, that's um thingy nitroglycerin 
right, you know, like, if it was in another chemical formula, it'd blow you up, right, you know, but what it does is it opens up all the, vas the vascular part in your chest and everything, oh, excuse me, oh, it's been one of them days, like, you know, so I've been using that, it's been like one of those, that, like, you know, remember in the 80s, you know, I used to get those, like, little cans of breath freshening, it's just like that, it's horrible, yeah. So, you know. So it's all been going on here. I'm going I'm not gonna go doom and blooming on it all like about COVID or anything like that because it's supposed to be like you know, a joyous time. Uh, you know, I mean what have we got to look forward to? Oh uh, god uh, I do like these, like, you know, I mean I've got this set as well. Oh, excuse me. If you I've got so much junk up here. This is a very nice set. It's quite expensive set as well. You put the end, put an end of one of those into that, and you, you, you put your hands on or whatever. That one there is for putting second hands on. Like there's another one that's like completely flat as well for other types of like chronograph hands and like you know. If you look, you can actually see like you know these little holes. It's very nice set, it's very heavy, it's made of very solid stainless steel. Now I got that from Red Rooster UK, it's an eBay seller. Basically they are like, you know, all they sell is watch stuff and it is massive. Give them, if you want tools or anything, it's your first port of call. That cost £12 with the postage, right, and that has been absolutely brilliant. But it's not quite as versatile as these ones here. I don't know if you can see that it's like, you know, I mean, it's very strange that, that that end there is metal and that end there is pl plastic, and that's plastic, and that's plastic, and so is that, but that one there, it's metal, so, you know, I think that one will probably end up being used quite a lot, I don't know. Um, that's running all right for the looks of it. I, I mean, I've got some noise bits coming in. I have got my first um, kinetic watch coming. I got it at a snip, um, a Pulsar Submariner type kinetic. I, you know, it's basically a Seiko with Pulsar in it. Like, it seems to me I'm either buying Seconda or I'm buying Pulsar. Like, <laughs> I've got. I don't know if you remember I've done this one up. Which is beautiful. Right. I've got the Acuris 6W50 coming with this. Right. It's like kind of the big, big brother. It's a dancing hands watch. It's got nine separate functions. Just like um, the Pulsar V600. Right. Which has got like five functions on it. Like, you know, the cool one. This, this W, uh, 6 w 50 or something like, you know, um, it's got um, two alarms, it's got full calendar, like, you know, like it actually shows the day and the month of the year, like, you know, um, it, it's programmed everlasting, um, it's got timers, it's got stopwatches, um, it's got dual times, I mean, you can set it to one time, set it to another time, you can set a third time with the little sub dial, I, you know, it's got a hell of a lot going on in like, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that because I, I like the, and it, it's in the same two tone kind, kind of like effect, right? So what I've done is, you see that bracelet, I've bought another one for that because it's exactly the same look, right? You know, I know I reckon that's going to look the business. This is brilliant. I love this. Very, very nice, you know. Accurate stuff, you know. I suppose I should do more accurate stuff. Cause they are you know a london based like, you know i mean they set up their factory in clarkenwell which is like you know basically right around the back of king's cross Holden sort of area like you know saddler's wells like the times newspaper used to be there which is when my mum used to work uh, you know doubt street where charles diggins like that was clarkenwell like, you know so you know um, and of course old Holden, like you know as named for the tobacconist shop at Old Hoban Parade, where there used to be a tobacconist, and then it's there now. Well, you know, I used to love it. And Level A Market, like Level A Market, next to the old Gamages building, like, you know. 
He used to be this um, Jewish bloke down there, right? He had an uh, all-you-can-eat place. Now, this is in the 80s, right? But all-you-eat was a thing. It was a thing in the Maritimeville. It wasn't over here, right? And it was a, a carve room. And all he had was, like, in the ovens, he had roast beefs and roast chickens because it had been Jewish skin out pork. Right, you know, and turkey, um, he even had venison from a, what a stu- anything he could get on the cheap down Smithfield's market, he used to bring that straight in the ovens and he used to roast the hell out of it, like, and it, like, he'd, he'd like have his trays just stacked this way with roast taters and like great big cauldrons full of like roasted veg sort of stuff and gravy and Yorkshire puddings, and, you know. It was the full one, and it was like six pounds for all you could eat. And I tell you what, like, you know, I say that was one of the few times I've been defeated. And I, you know, I just kept going back up for more, and more beef. I mean, I was going for man like lamb, he had lamb. And like, you know, the only thing he didn't have was pork. Being obviously Jewish, and I loved that place. And like, you know, whenever I went up to see my mum at work, I like, she was working at the mirror. Boy, I said, well, where do you want to go to eat? Where do you want to go for lunch? I'm going to go here. No, 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 no. I want to go to all the you can eat place, like, you know. Phil, my brother, he, he was he was a lightweight. He had a couple of roast taters and a bit of meat. He goes, I'm a flat. Well, you know, but and then he, he sat there outside and had three Mars bars. That was Phil's uh, nickname, was Captain Mars Bar. That's my brother, by the way. Not Phil Martin. Phil Martin was, like, you know, like my... Um, alter ego should we say like you know he was my partner in crime in a lot of things like you know like but you know i was surrounded by phil's at one point like you know uh i mean you know i mean phil martin you know, he's as close to me as a brother like his, his parents was close to me as a mum and dad i mean in fact phil's dad was a better dad to me than my own dad you know good old rog he was a good old bloke he was so you know there you go right? So I've not been doing very much other than worrying about cats and you know cars and everything else. I've been eating lots and lots of the. I've been making up the more and more veggie sort of stews in the slow cooker, right? Because I'm just using up this big bag of chicken that's in the freezer, right? Like, you know, just chucking in four or five like drumsticks in, leave it for a while, push bash bosh, right? You know, like just pull the bones out and it, it, it's like you know it's done to perfection. Right, taters in it, green beans, Brussels sprouts, spinach, right, carrots, peas, anything, anything they just go in there, right, you know. And it, of course, because I'm not putting onions in or garlic in or stuff like that, cats can eat as much of it as they like because it's completely cat friendly. So I don't have any leftovers. And like, you know, they finished off what I put down from last night, which was about that much left in the bottom of like a big, like, oval slow cooker pot right you know there must have been at least i don't know about four or five plates worth left it's gone right and the cats were all going around oh yeah you know, <laughs> barely set for like, you know uh, i hope you all get what you want for christmas like you know like i mean i do as well like I, I am not doing next this time next year I am not doing this again with a car. Oh, I'd just buy an old banger and risk it, like right? you know, the bloody do this again it is it's just hell. It really is hell you know. Uh, I'm I'm not putting decorations if Shana when she gets here wants to put decorations out that's all well and good but I'm not bothering like right? you know I mean it's, it's just me and cats cats don't care. I don't care really I'm a humanist, don't even believe in it, like right? you know. Uh, well, I think that's really, um, I just want to, like, you know, wish you all, uh, you know, an happy Christmas or happy holiday or whatever you want to call it, or, right, you know, and, um, oh, that's better, well, that's, that's brilliant, like, right, free mate, definitely, you want to get, if you're a single like me, all right, I tell you what, you couldn't go worse than getting this, um, smoke, oh, hello, what's going on there, smoke teeth with, um, you can pick these up for about 20 quid if you look around. This here, Free Max, absolutely astonishing vape, actually. I really, really love it. And what I've done is I've um, I've retired this one, 
as an ex as a spare now, right? You know, and I've got the Vapresso Cascade Baby on this, and that's working brilliantly as well. So I've got no complaints. So like, when this is charging and the batteries in it last forever, like you know, I mean, I could get two days worth of vaping out of the batteries on these, right? That goes on the charge. Bosh out this comes. Use that for a few hours. That's done. There you go. So, in fact, that's you know, in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do now, like you know. Uh, if you ever want to like speak to me or give me a message or anything like that, in each day's description, I always put like you know, like you know, like I've got a direct to me email, like it's, it's basically it's an aliasing thing. So like if you need to send me a message, or like you can look on my Twitter details as well. I'm on Twitter, Dodgy Druid, you know. Give me a like, you know, send me a tweet or whatever if you want to say hello. If you've got anything like you, if there's something you fancy, you like a look of that, you say, oh yeah, I don't mind doing a trade or a deal with what I've got for what you've got. Like, you know, I mean, I mean, there's certain things that I'm not going to trade, like, you know, but there are some things that I would. I mean, I've got, I've got not quite this one, it's another pole jot that looks like it. I've got three of them. I've got one seconda, I've got one pole jot, and I've got another pole jot. Right? I've been looking for a place to do something with a trade with on that, right? you know. I um, I wouldn't want to get rid of any of these, because I love these, like, you know. Um, but, like, you know, I might be willing to say goodbye to that for something nice. Like, you know, let's see what it is. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. It can be something of interest or equal, you know, curiosity, if you know what I mean. Um, I want to keep my dancing hands. I mean, I love this to pieces. Like, I mean, that, 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 you know. Uh, um, it's like I wouldn't let go of that either, like, you know, my obliger, because that's my first expensive watch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, there's another dancing hand. Um, this, I love this thing. I absolutely love this. This is a double wide Petersworth. I, I've, like, you know, I mean, there's, there's things that I would say goodbye to, and there's things that I wouldn't, like, you know. I mean, um, I've, oh yeah, I've got these, this is what I haven't mentioned, like, yeah, I, I've got a modding case for one of my Seiko 7009s, so I'll be having those up, and I'll be doing a video for that one for you, and, like, you know. So, I mean, yeah, there is one, like, you know, look, it's a Condo Expose 200 meter um, chronograph, but, like, you know. I don't really like it, I, you know, I'm, I mean, it, it isn't me, like, I've got tons of, you know, I mean, if somebody wants, you know, wants to give it a go, tidy it up, you know, give me a message, and, you know, this one, um, I love this as well, it's strange actually, because, you know, like, the way I'm wielding them like nothing does, just like, you know, um, I mean, I can't find a bezel for that. If anybody's got a bezel for that, I'd I'd appreciate it. Right. Pulsars and Seiko do not have a bezel for that. Right, I did ask them. Right. And... Ah. I, mean, I nearly ordered a glass for that, for this. Right, because it was the wrong one. Right, and he said to me, he says, no, that's not the one you want, mate. This is the one you want. So, antiques, stroke USSR, hello, I've been gillied, right, you know, he's got virtually every Soviet glass going, uh, you know, as you can see, that's beautiful, that is, right, you know, but you can see why I was confused, because if you look at it at certain angles, they do look similar, but he spotted it, not I didn't, I mean, it would have it cost me 12 quid for the fun. Right, well, Gilly saying hello. Say hello, Gilly. This cat, he goes to sleep like nothing else. He really is a big sleepy horse. You know? I mean, when he goes to sleep in my arms, I mean, you know, you have to wake him up. And when he wakes up, he's like all muzzy-headed. He, he, he don't know where he is. 
Oh, yeah, no, because he go because he's so secure, he's so happy. You know, isn't your boy? Who's that? Say hello. <laughs> Oi, stop looking at my pussy. Oh, sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll leave you to it. Right. Keep looking forwards. Stay safe. Stay legal. Right, hello. Watch out for people trying to sniff your armpits and don't go sniffing anybody else's, like, you know. If you have to go down there for a sniff and a lick, you know, wear a plastic bag or something, you know. I mean, um, be cautious, but be careful, you know, and, uh, you know, survive. It's the best thing you can do, survive. Fuck the Tories, fuck a lot of them. Survive till the next year and then get rid of the bastards. Well, you know, with civil war if necessary. Like, oh, I'm up for civil war. Yeah, you know, they all go back, give peace a chance. Well, I say, no, give civil war a chance. I reckon that we should do. It. Go out to Parliament, throw Boris and his tart out the window, or like, set fire to the sofas, like, you know, squat up the place. Right, and then head off over to Parliament, get the fuckers out of there as well, and say, right, this is our house, you know, it's all crib. I like, chuck them into the Thames and say, oh, by the way, like, don't think about screaming because we're going to just about drop a load of concrete blocks on it, yeah? Well, you know. No, no. That's called sedition, and it's against the law in this country. So, I was only joking. See you in the next one. Take care.